guys, welcome to Mr. and Mrs. Pilot. I'm Maria and this is my partner Victor. For those of you that are new to our channel, we are a commercial pilot couple from Sweden, both flying the Boeing 737 around Europe and we are based in sunny Spain. And today we're going to talk to you about turbulence. We have all heard about those terrifying stories and nightmare scenarios about airplane falling from the skies due to turbulence. However, those stories usually don't tell the whole truth. So here are five things you need to know about turbulence. Here's the truth. Most of the time, pilots will know when the turbulence is about to hit. We carefully study the weather patterns at pre-flight stage, we plan ahead and choose the best route before every flight to avoid as much turbulence as possible. And once we're up in the air, we are aided by, by flight deck weather radars and reports from other airplanes in the same area. Um, for an example, here's the simple explanation of how a weather radar works. At the very front of the airplane, we have the weather radar that are controlled by the pilots, tilting it up and down to find precipitation and thunderstorms. The weather is then shown on the navigation display in the flight deck, just like this. Different intensities of precipitation is shown in different colors. Green indicates light rain and possible light turbulence. Amber means light to moderate turbulence and red is associated with moderate to severe turbulence. The color of magenta is where we can expect severe turbulence. How we avoid these areas will be shown later on in this episode. For those of you that has a fear of flying, just know that airplanes are built for exactly these kind of conditions and designed to withstand far more turbulence than most people have ever experienced. Airplane manufacturers complete a so-called wing bending test <laughs> in the certification process of each and every airplane model out there. So if you look out your window and you see the wing wobbling up and down in turbulence, there's no need to worry, don't panic. This is what airplanes are built for. Did you know that turbulence is the most common weather condition that an airplane can experience? The actual safety of the aircraft is rarely in question. It's more common to be on a flight that has turbulence than to be on a flight that is totally smooth all the way through. So turbulence is common. What a nice pilot shirt you are wearing. Is well, it new? Thank you very much, Victor. Well, same to you. Is thank that you new as well? It is. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, it is new. In this episode of Mr. and Mrs. Pilot, we teamed up with Taylor Store, and they specialize in custom tailored uniform shirts like ours. But they also do shirts, chinos, polo shirts, sweaters, and a whole lot more. I always get a lot of questions where to find pilot shirts made for women. And there are not too many out there, I have to say, but that's why I got really happy when I got introduced to Taylor Store and excited to find out they make custom tailored uniform shirts for both men and women. Before I was introduced to Taylor Store, I struggled quite a lot to find the shirt that would fit me. Either the arm length was too long or too short or the collar was too tight up here. But with Taylor Store's own powerful design tool that will guide you through every step of the way to create your shirt, I created my first custom tailored pilot shirt, getting that perfect fit on the first try. So the pilot shirts Maria and I are wearing, they're 100% made to measure with 100% high quality cotton fabric. And did I mention that they are iron free? That is a big time saver for me, especially those days when you're called out on standbys. So check out tailorstore.com and get your own custom shirt made just for you. And of course, we have a discount code made for just you, our fellow subscribers. Use MTP20. We'll put the link here in the description. You get 20% discount with free shipping. So thank you, Taylor Store. Now let's get back to the five things you need to know about turbulence. So what do pilots do when entering turbulence? We put the seatbelt sign on to get the passengers strapped in. We slow down the aircraft to the turbulent penetration maneuvering speed. 
This speed gives the aircraft the biggest safety margin to fly through turbulence. And if it's clear air turbulence that won't show up on our weather radar, it's invisible. So we need to ask ATC if there's any lower flight levels available with smoother air that we can descend to. And sometimes ATC tells us that turbulence is all the same at all levels. And in that case, we just have to strap in and fly through it. However, if we instead see a thunderstorm cloud ahead of us, we obviously don't want to fly straight into it. So what we need to do is basically to fly around it. In real life, it would look something like this. Radar control, Mrs. 737, request 30 degrees right to avoid weather. Mrs. 737, deviation approved. Radar control, Mrs. 737, clear of weather. Mrs. 737, resume O navigation to Alpha Bravo Charlie. Direct Alpha Bravo Charlie, Mrs. 737. The so-called air pockets are a myth. There is no such thing as air pockets or vacuum pockets in the air, causing airplanes to fall out from the sky. It's usually just a term that people use to describe ordinary turbulence. Even though it might feel like you're falling from the sky, rest assured, if you're flying on a commercial airliner, truth is you rarely gain or lose more than 10 to 20 feet in turbulent conditions. Here's a bonus fun fact for you all. The main threat with turbulence is not that the airplane is going to break or crash or fall from the sky. It's actually turbulence related injuries, like getting a suitcase in your face or Ouch. falling when walking in the aisle, or even worse, having an accident happen while you're visiting the toilet, minding your own business. You don't want that to happen. And we care about our passengers. So guys, please, when the seatbelt sign is on, just strap yourself in and sit down. And that's it for now. So thank you very much. Until next Adios. time. Adios. Adios. Hiro. Arrivederci. Uh, hasta luego. <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> Five, 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 five